Hey guys, in this video I'm going to give you an overview of how to program a chilled water system using CCT. This is just an overview. It is not going to be uh, you know, real specific on a lot of systems or any particular system, but it might give you just enough information to get you up and running and you know, get you to where you need to be as far as uh, setting up your system. Here we are in our SCT tool, and the first step is to go to File, New. This pop-up window, uh, we will give this a system name, and we will also select the type of system that we're going to be programming. Of course, you can see that there are various selections for air handler and uh, other items, but we're going to be dropping this down and using it to uh, program a chill water system and you have several options that you can do here you know with, with without optimization and that sort of thing and once you select that it's going to bring you to the uh, basically a question and answer uh, window the key to being able to answer these uh, questions or make the selection correctly you need to understand the mechanical layout of the system. If you do not understand the way the system is laid out mechanically, you're not going to be able to answer a lot of these uh, selections the way that you should. Uh, you know, some of the things that you will need to know is whether or not the pumps are dedicated to a particular chiller. You know, some mechanical configurations in chill water systems require that a specific pump runs with a specific chiller. Others, there is some redundancy in it to where either pump uh, can run with either chiller. Those are questions that you're going to need to know the answers to. Uh, you're going to need to know the answers to whether or not there are drives in the system. Uh, you know, if the cooling tower is going to have a bypass valve and that sort of thing. Uh, there are, you know, those are just a few examples of some of the information that you will need to know well before you begin writing your program. Here we have selected, you know, a two pump uh, chill water system and, you know, we're going to go through here. You can select up to as many as you need, basically. Uh, you know, there are some very large systems, central plants and that sort of thing that are, uh, their programming is written using this very tool. And we're also going to select two condenser pumps, and we're also going to grab a few other options as far as, uh, you know, the way that this system is going to be configured. But uh, you do need to understand the mechanical layouts of that system. Once you've made the appropriate selections on the first page, you will press Next and then you will be given some more options uh, for this particular system as well. After you've made all of your selections, press finish and the program will go ahead and do a lot of configuration of the system based upon your selections. Here we have the out-of-the-box program. There's been no customization to this program. This is just the basic program as it is you know configured by the system based upon the way you picked components uh, from the selection tree you know we have our inputs here we have all of the control for the pumps the uh, chillers that sort of thing uh, you know some miscellaneous uh, you know uh, system controls as well. Uh, there's just everything here as it is out of the box. Now it's very common for you to have to customize this. I mean it's rare that any of these work out of the box. They're just basically a good starting point. There's always some tweaking, some customization that is necessary to get this up and running. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Define Hardware tab. This is where we are going to select the type of controller 
and that sort of thing that we're going to be using in this system. You need to be careful on the type of controllers that you select. You need to ensure that you have enough of the hardware inputs and outputs to run the, the uh, system the way that you need it to. I'm going to add a few to demonstrate something of what I'm talking about. Of course, we're going to use an uh, NCE for this particular uh, controller and we're also going to add uh, just a couple of IOMs. And let me explain to you why you need to pay attention to the particular controller you select. Uh, and the reason is the hardware inputs on one particular controller may not be enough. You may need a few more binary inputs, a few more analog outputs. You know, every system is a little bit different. You can see here that what we have selected so far, the controller is full, but we still have all of these hardware points that we need to put somewhere. So we have got to add enough of the correct control devices to be able to add each of the hardware points to the system. Uh, you cannot start a pump if you don't have a binary output. You cannot turn on the chiller if you do not have the appropriate output for it for a, you know, for a run relay. Uh, you can't control a drive uh, you know, or anything like that if you do not have the correct number of hardware inputs and outputs. Here we're going to grab a, uh, you know, one of the IOMs of this particular model and you know, I'm going to go in here and grab another controller and once I highlight that, you know, of course this list will give you an idea of the number of hardware points that are on these particular controllers and when you add those controllers, pay attention down here, you can see in the lower part of the screen, it will tell you that you still have hardware points available. So that means that you have selected an incorrect controller or, you know, one that has not uh, given you enough points to add to the system. So we're going to go in here and grab a, another one and you know one that will actually give us a little bit more of what we need in fact we're probably going to go ahead and use two of these uh, for the purpose of this system because of the necessary hardware points so we slide this over to two and once we press the OK button you can see the red lettering is gone and when we go into the a point assignment we can see that we do not have any points on the left hand side of the screen on the right hand side you know we have uh, the system is automatically configured some of those we do have some additional open points that are unused you could probably go in and clean this up a little bit however I would highly recommend that uh, you it's better to have a few extra points available in the future for any type of changes that may come in with your system uh, in here uh, be sure that you put your addressing for your controllers and that sort of thing within this as well and once you have all of your hardware selected correctly you save your program you should be ready to download the program to your controller and then from there you should be able to start the customization of the program to run your system as it should be. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope that it has given you enough information to get started on programming a chilled water system. I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and also drop me any comments down below and thanks for watching.